All right, I've, uh, I'm ready to put in another day on this. Uh, I uh, realized last night before I left that I had made the, the uh, distance between the two femurs way too wide. Well, anyway, I screwed up again, but I caught it before I started doing anything, so I'm going to change that right now. And then I'm going to start making the uh, foam. Um, in I'm going to start encasing this leg in foam. Um, I think I'll do the same thing with this one here, but he's going to also, it, it, this leg is going to be sticking out and pushing from underneath the, uh, the buffalo robe that he'll be wearing. And then I'll uh, just make a reservoir, a big one, for the uh, robe itself, which will be uh, hanging off his, uh, from about here, high on him, which is just below his uh, chest. And uh, I'm going to have one of his arms holding the blanket and the other one sort of hanging at his side, holding on to uh, something, I'm not sure what, maybe... Maybe even have him holding on to a uh, shield on the front. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do on that. Uh, so, the first thing I need to do is make a reservoir. Reservoir? Is it reservoir? I don't know how it's pronounced. It. I'm going to make it out of one and a half panels and not just two. Or one, I mean. It'll all make sense in a second here. Towel over there, and uh, let's see. I'm gonna wrap it around there. So need to get some tape, towel, and I'm gonna just wrap it around the leg. about too much about the uh, shape of it because I can carve it once it's uh, the foam is hardened and then I'm going to wrap that with tape to uh, seal it off at the bottom I just use electrician's tape for that Now the way I'll keep it leveled out is by just putting another piece of tape on the inside and just positioning it right there. That'll keep it uh, with the armature right in the center. Okay, I'm somewhat prepared here. Taxidermy foam comes in two parts, A and B solution. and. Uh, I'm going to mix up I'm using a plastic knife to mix the solution. And uh, as you can see, I've uh, put uh, a uh, paper towel uh, around the bottom of the other leg. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, leg. Uh, pour on both legs because uh, there's going to be shape underneath the blanket and I need that shape and so it's better to have the shape there and there's no shape at all. Board, so I just soon not have to mess with that. I'll pour half into there and half into, whoops, into there. Now you see why I put the uh, <laughs> paper towels down and why I'm wearing gloves. I'll just let that harden.
All right, I'm gonna make the upper legs now. But I'm gonna empty my trash bag first. All right, I'm just about done. I'm putting a few screws into the uh, foam to tightly wrap the robe around his leg because I want to show that leg underneath the uh, robe. Every time I do this is for the first time, so I have no idea if this is going to work. All I can do is do my best. paper towels handy in case foam starts flowing out the bottom. Any place. And uh, let's see, where else do I need to put foam? Let me take I think I'm fine there. Now, let's get ready to pour this sucker. came out pretty good. I'm not unhappy with it. It's going to be a good base uh, for what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm just trying to build up strength for this and and uh, we'll just figure out uh, if I can't get any more taxidermy foam then I'll just figure something else out. Now I just stopped at the taxidermy place here in Ennis and uh, the guy doesn't have any extra foam and uh, he gave me an address and a phone number where I can order it, and he says if you order it on Monday, you'll probably have it by Wednesday. Um, it's about 115 bucks for uh, the two cans, and um, that's not bad when you consider all the clay that you're saving by using it. Uh, so I'll uh, probably have to take a vacation whether I want to until Wednesday. 
Uh, if the foundry doesn't have any uh, foam, uh, I'll check on them Monday. If they do, then I'll run up to Bozeman Monday and pick it up. But I got a got gut feeling that tells me that uh, they don't. All right, people, have a great weekend, and I'll see you uh, next week sometime.